Speaking of Daru, I asked him, can I watch the 15 v 15 ver from your perspective? So if you guys haven't seen it, it's a 15 versus 15. As you may notice, just looking at the screen here, Daru is the last star. And there's all these other really strong players on the other team. He said, look, if you're going to do this match analysis of my stuff, there's just one message you have to send everybody. I just hope that you say to Eno players, don't give up with her. That's what he told me. He said, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to credit with me. You just have to say, don't give up with her. And if you watch this set, you know what the fuck he's talking about. He is on some protagonist shit in this set it's a good one daru says don't give up on me so in case you guys are wondering what these discord bubbles are on the left from his perspective i'm pretty sure it's muted to him or maybe it's not but it's all of the teammates in the the channel so that you hear them commentating and talking during this okay so a couple of things to talk about there's a lot of really excellent players on here and a lot of these matches are very close so each set is two out of three so this is Samito Chip, right? Strongest Chip player. I've seen them play before, by the way. I watched Daru. If you don't know, this is on his YouTube channel. And he also streams on Twitch. If you just type into Twitch, Daru Eno, all one word, you'll find his Twitch channel. He streams all the time. He, he duo streams, I'm pretty sure. So you can find it on both. Uh-huh. And this is early mix-up. This is a scary character. Damn, just wake up 6P. This is a scary character for her to fight, I feel like. It's very scrambly. And any character that has a reversal DP like that, Nice. Dead, yeah. Any character that has a reversal DP, a three-frame button, you know, he has a good 6P. He has good challenges on what she wants to do. This is a, just immediate challenge on Alpha Blade, right? I think if you did Rekka and there was a gap, this would have hit anyway, too. If you did Command Throw, like, whatever it was. Just reversal super. Everybody's hype. <laughs> yeah, so round star 6H I like. 6H is really fast, by the way. It's a super fast button and very strong. Yeah, that is a safe jump. So anytime you hit dive like this, you can uh, hover dash H and make this a safe jump to DPs. And also it's meaty. Uh, this is something that is very good because then afterwards, you know, once you get them to respect this, you can hover dash then late hover dash or hover dash low or something like that. There's a lot of good options here. Back dash from Sumito doesn't block the alpha blade. Mm -hmm, and there's the challenge. So we just saw that, right, where he blocked the jump H before and he backdashed this time, blocked the jump H. He tries the 2K, immediately DPs. And his DPs land a lot in this set, actually, to be honest with you. No, the whiff cancel. That shit's nasty. Why can he do that? The whiff cancel 2S, 2H is so good. Yeah, wall clang. I think Eno doesn't, you know, she doesn't really have a traditional air dash, so escaping situations like this is kind of kind of tough, right? You really have to fight. That could have been punished. It just got counter hit instead. 6P. She has one of the best 6Ps in the game. Her 6P is beefy. It just explodes you out of the air. It's really good. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, that was so... The Alpha Blade timing was really messed up. Oh, no. This this could have killed, actually. If, if this hit in a jump D, that would have killed her. Stroke hits. Ah, the DP. I'm telling you, his DPs land a lot in this set. His DP, like, Samito's DPs in this are, they're pretty nasty. He hits a lot of them. Counter hit 2D. Yeah, I was going to say, because of the wall here, you get the wall splat. Bam. That does a lot. That gives you the meter build as well with Chip, which, I mean, is very important, obviously, right? Yeah. Use the PRC on it. Jump D knockdown in the front. You can cross up or go behind after this, by the way. So when the diagonal alpha blade hits like this, right, and you get jump D, Chip can air dash forward here, and he can land behind or in the front. This is a really good position to be. The jump D knockdown here and immediate guess. He does jump 2k in the front. That time, yeah, jump 2k again. Just to burst out. Ooh. I think if he neutral jumped, maybe that air throw would have worked. FDing to push him away. I think also FD is fine because if Chip does alpha blade on you and you block it cross up, uh, he'll be closer to you. Because you push him back so the alpha blade doesn't travel as far correct right so that that's also fine trying to get space but first game was pretty rough first first game was pretty rough there there's a 6p oh didn't get the dash 6h no cancel i like that 6h you can cancel either hit and uh you can also cancel this move really late this move is excellent one of her best buttons right and you can cancel this into chemical love or slash or heavy slash stroke or no or whatever you want to do, right? 
And I think not canceling it and then just doing something like that is also really good. Like, why not, right? Yeah, first hit Rekka beats the Chemical Love. Plus frames. That was a great FD, by the way, from Daru here. Something that you see quite a bit, right? After the Gamma Blade, he's plus. So you just FD and make the whiff happen. Didn't get the 2k, but it was the right idea on defense. And that's why he escapes the corner. Yeah, that would have been a lot of damage. And it would have been a knockdown, too. That's a challenge. That's one of the most important bits of matchup knowledge that I think is important. And also, you just mash. When you block her jump K, this jump D right here, there's a gap. So you can uppercut through it. And you can also super it. You're going to see it a few times in this set. But against Eno, that's, like I think, one of the, the more important things to challenge. Because if she does jump K and tries empty low or overhead, you can DP both. You can you can challenge that. There's a big gap there. Like you can hit a button sometimes. It depends on the character. You can DP it. even if you get hit by the jump K, you can DP it. But it's obviously hard to see, right? Like, I mean, she doesn't always do jump K. She has other jump normals that are great. Jump slash. Oh no. Oh I agree, it's lucky. <laughs> nice bait. Bing bang. Nice little walk too. See how she does a little walk here? Take a little step forward so the six H hits. Yeah, you can combo jump K into 2K, but if it's on block, you can challenge. That was good air to air on the jump K too. I think, um, you know, she doesn't have a good escape method there, right? Because she has no air dash. Like in a position where, where you're just stuck in the corner here. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> okay. Nice. Safe jump. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. Knockdown, you get note here. Just goes for the pressure. Oh, the wake of 6P. Oh, God. Not dead. Oh, the far slash didn't hit. That's super plus. And that was dead. You'll take it. He had meter there to send it too, right? So when you get a gold burst in this game, this character, I think, right? He got so... I can't believe this didn't hit. <laughs> far slash didn't reach gold burst. I like just air dash super because, you know, if he DPs or something, you're good. This is incredibly plus also, by the way. Look at, look at, you see how Chip is still staggering from the super and he's in hit stun? It's incredibly plus. Plus 32? Yeah, okay. It's like some made up number, you know, where you're like, word? <laughs> it's like something absurd. But yeah, this is a very, I think this is a very volatile matchup. Ooh, that jump D whiffing is very good for him. Yeah, this is a really good start. Bam, and he just gets clipped by the note. Dude, look at that confirm. Did you see it? This is wild to me. Air dash, S, catches the back dash, H dive, hop, slash, close slash, 2H. This is a wild confirm. You gotta be a real Eno gamer to confirm like that. That, that is unbelievable. <laughs> You, uh, yeah, you gotta, you know, I gotta say, you gotta be pretty good to do that. I don't, I don't think I've seen that that often. It's a really, that seems really tough. You also have to cancel the hop at the right time too, to get the combo. Plus, second hit, dead. Mm -hmm. Double overhead. That's how you spend the meter as, you know, right? Just think about it. Like, you know how you do a move in RC for plus frames? That's what her super does, right? It puts you at plus a billion, and then she just runs a mix-up behind it. This is caught the back dash. Exploded. That does a chunk of damage, by the way. Ooh, I like that round start 6H. That's a good one, I think. Repoot, what up? FDs. FDs again. I think if you see the FD there as Samito, you probably uh -oh. you probably start to go for Gamma Blade. Yeah, just a challenge. I like this pressure in the corner too after uh, this knockdown. Respecting the DP, right? Like, I don't think you want to challenge too hard against him, mostly because, you know, he's been DPing so much. That was a good block. 6P. Oh no. Oh no. That's tragic. The DP whiffed and he just barely missed the punish and he got the gold burst. Nice. <gasps> I forgot about this. What the hell? This dude's just making shit up. Do you see this confirm? I thought, oh, this combo's not going to be so mad. 
are so bad. This is not going to be too much damage. Slash dive hits the jump a or uh, goes through the safe jump again. Counter hit. This is only slash stroke, so you're not that plus. And he gets the gold press. 2S into the chemical love. Did that only work because of the counter hit slowdown combo? I didn't think about that. I, I don't think that works on regular hit, probably. Then chemical love PRC H dive. Nice. That was a really wild confirm. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know how to punish with Eno there. Maybe Chemical Love. Damn! Big jump H. Yeah, I think I've watched them play before, and I feel like Samito usually has advantage in this set, but, you know, I, I think it's like against Chip in particular in short sets, it's so volatile sometimes that a character like Eno, if you block a couple of those DPs, like, you could just explode. Sin, yeah, this is a cool set too. This Anji player, man, some of these sets are mad close. I don't know how he wins this. Raw note. Couple of interesting things about this matchup too. You you see the uh, counter super from Anji really put in some work here, and uh, Daru has some really interesting setups to bait it. Uh, it's clear that he's fought against Anji before, and he has some matchup knowledge. Ooh, try jump back H. That is yeah, that's no good. The spin. I like the jump attempt right there from Daru after the spin because a lot of Anji players will throw to try to punish. So jumping is a common, you know, option there. And then uh, Sin just hit five P, which you know. I can't, can't hate on that. H stroke, knockdown here. I love the regular throw. Mix it up a little bit. Went for it again. This is not good, yeah. In the corner. Ooh, it's that. You're that kind of gamer, huh? Oh, that's a drop. 6H hit. Yeah, but too far on the stroke. And Daru got. How is Daru alive? That 6P into the Fujin not killing here. So is the drop on the dust combo? And then the 6P into the Fujin didn't drift forward or anything, so it doesn't hit on the slowdown. So she just gets sent away, no combo. Hell no. Thanks very much for the sub, though. Nice. I like that option a lot. The chemical love there. Oh, you see it. One of the issues of Raw Note here. Note, I think, has some, some trouble in this matchup. So he spins right through it, right? So he tried to time the jump H to hit when he was landing, but he still had the uh, recovery frame. Ooh, that is bad. Especially this corner, close to the corner. Yeah, Ko lands, splat. Oh, could have splatted, but I guess maybe chose not to. Yeah, that's bad. Another backdash. Uh, there's been a lot of backdashes here so far. You see that Daru is leaning with... Yeah, plus here. Went for the throw again. Daru's doing a ton of throw, right? I think he's really worried about spin. And we haven't actually seen spin on defense that much. We've just seen it a lot in neutral. Oh, yeah, you're getting, you're just exploding. Oh, missed the uh, butterfly PRC. Just got a raw PRC. That is unfortunate. This is one of the biggest problems that I didn't even think about against Sanji until this happened to my gun flame. You can uh, counter projectiles. And even though it doesn't punish Eno here, she's kind of forced to block. And he doesn't have that much meter to FD, and he tries. He just gets chipped out. Yeah, so you can imagine as a character that runs Oki off of Note, a projectile, having a counter super that just activates on the Note is pretty good. You're just kind of stuck, and you just get chipped out for free right there. Counter hit stroke. Went for the uh, Hover Dash S. I'm pretty sure you can make that combo, but it depends on the stroke. Maybe it's only H stroke. Nice. Mm -hmm. Notice that Darus changes pressure. Way more air dash pressure. Because um Sin has just been backdashing like pretty pretty consistently on the pressure, right? So Darus is like, alright, 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 I gotta start going for this. Yeah, you see how he blocked? He's scared of the super. This is one of those things, right, where the defensive option is so useful even if you don't use it. Does not go in. See this? He just gets hit by the meaty note, and Daru doesn't go in because he's scared of the reversal super here all, with all this meter. Plus? Yeah, I just went for the throw again. Have to worry about it. This is bad, yeah. There's not that much height here, though. Yeah, the code didn't knock, knock up very much because of it. Uh-oh. Oh, close slash? Yeah. Oh, you might win. Yeah, force the burst at least. Nice. That was clean. 
This this right here is a, such a bad spot. Pilots the note up for a few reasons. There's a few reasons to pilot the note up. One, in case Anji jumps, which is what happens. But two, in case Anji spins. So if Anji spins, you don't get the activation point here on the note, right? So when he does spin right there, you do jump H, put him in blocks under the air, insta tap, bam, headshot. Yeah, there's a few reasons to pilot the note up. It's because of spin and also to catch the jump, right? Oh, that's not good. Interesting that he took the Ko into the OTG instead of just taking Butterfly mid-screen. I guess you would rather be here, right? Gold Burst is huge. Yep. Gold Burst is huge. You have all this meter for a mix-up. Mm-hmm. 6H knockdown. Oh, I think that was maybe even an empty throw attempt. Oh, the Butterfly. <laughs> that's actually okay, though, because it could have been worse. She could have got punished worse. The butterfly actually saved her there. Yep. This is really good defense from Sin. For peripheral, what up? Notice the, the knockdown again. 2D note. Pilots the note up so that Anji, if he counter supers, it'll whiff. And then when he sees that, he does not counter super and says, oh, okay, cool. 5P. Hits you out of the air. If no one got me, I know Shitsu got me. <laughs> the butterfly, dude. The butterfly really saved the day there. But also... Then the punish wasn't so bad because of it. Great. Yeah, this is a really smart, really smart neutral here from Dara. Look, pilots the node down, cuts off the screen, forces the jump. Anji at this height, like now, you know, he doesn't have that many options coming down, right? So chases down with jump H, and then you get another mix up on the way down, right? You put him in air blocks then. Lands, you get the knock down here in the corner into the note. And then just keeps the pressure grounded, which I kind of like since we haven't seen Dara do that so much so far. Doesn't cancel in a stroke or anything. This is great pressure. Even though you lost the corner, I mean, really got a lot of damage very quickly. 6H waits. Air dashes in. Tries the 6P to jump. And then on the other side, 6P again into chemical love. This move is so good. 6P is so good. Ooh. I, yeah, I think you got a little fancy there. No meter, so you don't have to respect the uh, counter super. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That was unfortunate. I like the PRC here to try to catch this. If this is RC, I think it would have been better, right? But unfortunate. Or maybe actually you don't get RC on that. Is that what this is? Tried to 5K. There's the back dash. And then run up close. La this move is kind of... <laughs> this move is kind of going hard in this set. 2H Co. You love to see it. Butterfly out. Try to FD to get some space. Important FD, actually. This is a game-winning FD, perhaps, right? Because... The FD here means that he had to run farther in to get close slash. You see that? Potentially a game game winning FD by just getting a little bit more space so Anji doesn't get close slash. He didn't run up far enough because of the distance. And there it is. That's what he's been waiting for literally the entire time. Pilots the note up. Counter super whiffs. Bursts on the table though. Yeah, and bursts on the jump slash. Ooh, if that had clean hit, like, by itself, that was bad. That was very bad. Chemical Love, uh-oh. Does pilot the note down. Shoot the note again. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That's not good. Doesn't do Butterfly or anything. Oh, my God. What an ugly match. I don't even think they know what happened. Yeah, I like that he did pilot the note down. Then pilots the note down again. Almost landed on it. This right here got hit on the back dash, but too high to combo. Jump back. I'm surprised there's no air throw there. Ooh, that could have been 2D butterfly. But how can you know, right? Ugh. Nasty. Nasty. I honestly cannot believe he's alive. I feel like the same way about the Sumito set, too. Yeah, after the 2D, he could have done butterfly or OTG Fujin. That's true, too. Or Ko. Or, yeah, he had a lot of options there. But it's very easy in the heat of the moment to miss them, right? Good. That was so good from Sin. I love just run up 5P right there. It's really smart. We haven't seen him represent this option that much, but Dar has been piloting the note up a lot, right? So just run up 5P to say like, hey, I'm just going to put out this button, and if you hover dash, you die. You know? I think this is like a smart... It's like a smart uh, choice in the matchup. You're just like, yep. I love that too. If your opponent is just sitting there FDing, running up and staggering your pressure is excellent. Jump D does not use the super. I think probably because feeling like saving the meter is more important if it's not going to kill. This should kill, yeah. So 
So now set point. This is like elimination point. Look at how many stars are in the bottom right. Feeling pretty good. That 2H round start, I like that too. And the 5P mash again. Against Eno pressure, you have to do that sometimes, right? You have to just mash 5P against this character because, you know, it's how you beat... It's how you beat her just hover dashing over and over. Oh, that was a mistake. I like that Dar jumps, actually. I think jumping after that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, this pressure, this pressure sucks. You're in, a, you're in a rough spot. The important thing, though, was actually he did get IBFD, which I don't even know if that was on purpose, but this right here was really good. Oh, no, actually, it was just it was just an IB. I thought it was an IBFD. Really important to escape. All those jump slashes added up, but it honestly didn't matter too much in terms of, like, getting a big hit. It was just more about cranking risk. Ah, that sucks. That shit is so good, because if it's blocked, you're like, okay, and then you just do another mix-up. Jump K, jump D is, you know, it's the move. It, it is very, very good for this character. It's your double overhead mix-up. And when you have super, it's in incredibly good, right? Heavy stroke. That FD was important because I don't think 2D would have worked here. Again, knowing when to FD in this game is really, I think, crucial, right? Because I think 2K, 2D would not have worked because he FB'd the stroke. Even though the stroke is plus, right? If you FD it, it makes her options after a little bit more limited. She can like do 2k chemical love if you stand up, but it will whiff on crouch. HCL would connect there. Yeah, but if he hits a crouching button, then it whiffs. So you can challenge with a crouching normal. Wow. Oh, it missed. Nice. That was a good confirm. Didn't break the wall. Next hit will, though. Daru is really, really good, by the way. Yeah, dead. Nice. Double chemical love. Daru is really, really good about confirming stray air hits into H dive. Like, just ra like random jump H's or jump S's in midair into H dive into, like, whatever. I Like, he very consistently does it. Which, honestly, I think is probably going to end up being super important for this character because... It makes your random air hits go from just getting a hit into another overhead low, from getting a hit into real damage into wall break, right? Yeah, Roy Soul. I love Roy. Man, every time I watch him play, he loses. It makes me sad. I'm a big Roy fan. He streams on Twitch and YouTube also. You guys can find Roy Soul on there. I love watching Roy. Every time I watch him, he's playing somebody really good and he's like losing. I'm like, well, I'm a big fan. I, I'm, I mean that genuinely. Like, I like watching his soul. I watched him uh, in Plus R and Exert. I was watching footage, too, and I was like, Roy's tight. And then he just dies. I'm like, well, it'd be like that. Dude, you look huge. Did you see this note piloting? Look at this angle. It goes up over the gun flame. Whoop, bang, headshot. <laughs> that shit was sick. Did you see the note? It was like, whoop. And it went down and hit him in the head. That shit was a, it was a heat seeking missile. Fire in the hole. That was a great confirm, too. Too far to do anything besides 2k chemical up. And then H dive hits the jump K. Jump D is too high on the crouching soul here, unfortunately. And I think jump K itself might have been negative. To be honest. And then whiffs the throw and then gold bears. <laughs> that was a really rough start. Good FD. I like that a lot. Soul, uh,. In this position, I like that Roy tried to read backdash here. His first idea was if you're FDing. So the general rule, right, is if you're going to FD far slash, you're not going to challenge it, right? Because you're making far slash more plus. So if you FD far slash, you probably want to backdash or jump. So I like 6S from Roy here. He's reading backdash. So I like that choice. Yeah, slash DP, counter hit. Not not the best confirm. It could have been more for Derby Ghost. What up? Didn't have to spend meter here. It could have been 6S counter hit into Gunflame into Vortex. But, you know, this will this will do the job. Could have been much more damage, actually. Because it could have been a meterless confirm into Tyrant Rave. Ooh, that's bad. I also think... I also think hitting Slash on her dives is not very good, to be honest with you. I think as Soul, you hit 5k when you block the dive. That's what I always do. The reason is that if, if she pops up, you punish that and you can react and combo. And if she commits to the dive, 5k also punishes it. This is a juicier punish, but it, it covers build options. Yeah, good punish. Good matchup knowledge to interrupt between the two hits of the super. I'm very bad at that. That's a punish. Yeah, 6h has a lot of recovery. 
I like that we are seeing a lot of uh, 2H and neutral from Daru. It's a really good move. And jump back dive is... This is like, you know, for Eno, when she wants to challenge in situations like this, this is something that she's always been... This is like a really good option, yeah? Like jump back, it just whiff punishes 2S. Pressure. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was going to be Chemical Love. It could have broken the wall there, too. Got him. In the knockdown. Ooh. That was a bait. I think Daru is looking for the DP, to be honest with you. Oh, no. Missed it. That could have been worse. It could have been much worse. I think Roy could have killed him. Great. That is so. Both of them have so much matchup knowledge here. Note comes out. 6H is the note. Daro sees him 6H the note, right? So you 6H so that your hurt box gets extended into this note. You take almost no damage, as you can see here. And then it immediately resets to neutral, right? So Soul basically resets to neutral, gets rid of the note. And then Daru just does chemical love to beat the 6P. Perfect match of knowledge. Level one is I use 6H to beat the note. You air dash forward. I 6P you. And then the next level is all right, I land and then I chemical love to beat your 6P. Try to do double chemical love, which is a cool idea. But Daru still has meter too, so you can just do air super. Yeah. Or jump H into whatever. Uh oh. Yeah, this gives you a good knockdown. Yeah, throws the DP. Mm, that challenge. Oh. You see this? Nasty. Nasty ass move. FD pushed out of the way, so I'm pretty sure the first hit of 6H just missed. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, that hurts. Mm hmm. Burst out on block. This is good. Yeah. Oh, that was not good. It was good. And then it was real bad. This is a great option from Daru, actually. He hasn't represented this at all, and also walk up command throw is great, right? Because if you do wake up DP, which you know Roy has meter to do, this gets snatched up too. Really smart. Bam! That shit wall broke from that far. Word. This character is a garpler. Showing a soul player losing, huh? Fucking down player. Hey, if that's if that's the case, I can't watch any Roy matches. <laughs> Every time I look. Ooh, that was a nasty little angle. I like that a lot from, you know, I think um, Jump Air Dash is really good. I'm like a big Roy fan too, okay? Don't don't let me sound like a hater. That's a punish. You can probably get a bigger punish maybe, but this is probably the consistent punish I would imagine. 6H is, this move is negative like 20, I think, or something. It's very negative. So even though it pushes back a lot, you know. Punish it is important. Slat, yeah. Mix up here. You're just stuck. Help. Help. Jump slash. This is plus frames. This would have melted you and broken the wall if it got if you got hit. And then air dash. He's still reeling. You're still so plus. Yeah, that position is really, really rough. Oh, the trade. Yeah, because of the trade, he couldn't get the regular vortex. Uh-oh. Oh, it with. That sucks. That sucks. He feels bad, man. I think Daru is doing a good job of playing this matchup in neutral, though. Nice. Stroke is really a useful move against Soul, honestly. Great confirm. Stroke is really useful. It shuts down most of his best buttons and forces him to hit 2S or 2D. And uh, when that starts to be the case, you know, you have good options against the character in neutral accident. But yeah, hard to hard to really punish well. I think he had to like air dash forward there. Or uh, run up, I mean, after. Mm -hmm. Great confirm from Roy. Damn. Oh, he could have killed. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he could have RC'd that throw the first one and killed him. Have I seen this already? Yeah, I was watching through the matches when it was live. Plus, ah, you can hit a button. Soul, you're plus here, and if you just do 2k, if you just do 2k, 2d, you hit him. But I wonder if he just delayed it because he expected a DP or something. I don't know. Yeah, Soul's, Soul's 2k is not plus. Oh, word? You good, bro? Something wrong? 
was uh, that was uh, that was one of those bursts where you're like, well, double overhead. Oh no, super. I think that's what he wanted though. Not a punish. Oh no. Yeah, too far for the 2D. That that could end up costing him actually the round. A couple of mistakes. I think he wanted jump K, jump D, super here, by the way. And then didn't get it. And then does raw super here, maybe thinking that he's gonna gun flame to punish it or something. And then we see the low hit, but two D doesn't hit. I think six P might have hit here. But you know, two D gives you the Oki. I like that YRC. Nice. That was a really good escape option from Daru. And we take those. No, I'm saying after heavy stroke, she's plus. And if you hit 2k and soul hits 2k, your 2k wins. Nice. That was good to see. Dude, you look huge. See this, this little confirm here? He sees that the stroke hit backdash, which means it's airborne, so he gets meaty note. Dude, you look huge. Mm, probably caught him backdashing. Yeah, you're going to challenge with soul there if you block a jump normal. And that's what I mean about jump K, by the way. Oh, wrong combo. <laughs> Try to go low, but I think it was just a bit too far. Stroke? Yeah, it goes under 6P. It goes under so many things, right? So uh, try to, I think that was to try to beat Bandabringer. Throw. Yeah, of course. This is so smart. I feel like Daru plays the soul matchup so well. Yeah, this was to beat Bandabringer just in case, because I think that's what he read from Roy. Then right here, I love this choice. To After this, right, like this trades, right? Heavy stroke, hits out of the air, air dash forward, whiff, throw. Because if he goes for DP again, you're looking for the, the DP. The way he control, like, you know, I think this character, if you're not a legacy gear player, moving around the screen with Eno is hard, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have tried playing her, if you're not, like, a gear player who's played Eno before. Moving with her is, is weird, right? Like, knowing how to use jump back air dash or jump back dive to whiff punish and knowing how to position yourself with her, it does not feel normal or natural at all. It shit feels nasty. And then you watch Daru and he's just zipping around the screen. You're like, oh, okay, well. And his matchup knowledge. He has lots of legacy matchup knowledge. It's not just the dash button. It's also understanding how her hover dash works, right? Because her approach options, instead of being regular dash or back dash like this, and then in the air like this, instead of these being her angles, her angles are like this or like this. You see this? So like, it's such a different... Like, it's very weird relative to other characters. It, sometimes it's very useful, and sometimes it puts her in harm's way, right? So This is another matchup. I think, uh, you know, player... Dude, that confirm is cool. I think uh, Bishop in a Rook meta. Jesus. I think a lot of people... I like this confirm. Jump H, counter hit. 6H. Bam, that shit's cool. Uh, 6, 6H is, what, 7 frames or something? That move is, is very fast for a heavy. This is very useful. Yeah, a lot of I feel like a lot of Eno players did not like this matchup at first. They were real grumpy about it. Maybe they still are grumpy about it. I'm not sure. Respected the super there. Uh-huh. Headshot. Now you get an Oki here, too. And you build the meter back anyway, right? So, like, you get pressure here and you're building meter because of the positive bonus. Oh, that was, that was hella good. Counter hit 2S, heavy stroke, 2D note. You love to see it. It's such a good round start. Missed the combo, but that was still a really good start. Oh, I think 6P might have worked there, but maybe tried it too late. Again, this move is so good as a challenge. 6H, like, you just swing with it. And even if it counter hits, it, it's going to trade favorably for you. Traded, nice. Plus again. Oh, try to walk up throw that time. I think that was supposed to be the fake, right? I love that when it hit airborne like that and knocked her back down, Daru just like restarted the pressure. Instead of just doing like something else. No doubt. I love how he uses that to escape too. Plus frames. Blocks it. But safe, right? Unfortunately. A lot of a lot of air supers are like that in this game. Dude. You look huge. That chemical love? That chemical love was so good. It jumps back, hits H, chemical love, just destroyed him. That was so smart. 
it was like such a useful thing because you know chemical love is a move that needs it needs justification right like you don't just do chemical love all the time you need them to not be running or crouching or like above it or you know you you need to put them in a position where it's good right oh nice that didn't combo that's super fortunate and was not quite high enough to get the jump slash there whoa how did you block that bro are you cheating <laughs> are you cheating who the fuck blocks that yeah tried with the chemical love again there that was a real gamer right there i don't know how he did that dude he is hammering away on this chemical love which means that you set up the stroke after right or the air dash Ooh, i think that was supposed to be jump k jump slash into it uh oh yeah slash stroke so you can challenge after it's negative six nice that time goes empty low after the jump k instead of doing jump k jump dust yeah, I mean, he's using Chemical Love a lot in this matchup, and I think it's because he's he's setting it up well with the way he's playing neutral, right? So, I think just raw doing Chemical Love, you die in this matchup. But if you set it up by doing air dashes and dives and strokes, like that move starts to become useful in tandem with everything else that the character has, right? Wow, that wall splat? You're kidding me. What did he hit? It was just, yeah, jump slash, Chemical Love, walk forward. Ah, oh, the second hit of 6H, I see. Yeah, that is very this is like such a good position tried for the uh fake i think that's supposed to be a fake into the throw right it was air dash s yeah exactly and then you whiff h into throw that's someone who's played you know once or twice for sure it was empty low nice that was so sick that was so sick this motherfucker is a gamer do you see this needs one hit 2k hcl prc instant into h dive that was so good. Damn, he is speedrunning. Only two opponents left. Yeah, Eno's air super is super plus. Oh, this set was close too. Lox. Lox uh, is a name I've seen before. I, I don't know who they... I think he played Old Gear too. I don't know too much about them. But yeah, I've seen this Geo before. This match is close. I gotta say, it looks really difficult for Eno to control mid-range against this character. Ooh, that is bad. Didn't quite break the wall. That'll do it. Damn. Look at how much life she had. She got hit by close. She got hit by 6 edge Or 6H. Chemical love. H dive. Hop. Bam. Bam. Right? Doesn't kill. Instant. Double overhead. Smoked. <laughs> you just get run over sometimes. Dude, that's pretty big. Oh, I don't know if he expected that to OTG, actually. Nice. That was good. Locks, I think a lot of players are using FD very smartly now. It's important to understand when to use it, right? The FD here on 6H actually made it so that slash stroke whiffed and the 2K hits. So I think, you know, you have to do H stroke there if you want it to connect. And then that's obviously more risky because you can hit a button out of it. Yeah, good challenge. You have to do that versus Eno. Eno makes you feel dumb sometimes because you just mash. You know? For the big bits, what up? Thanks very much. MCNA is a gamer. Yeah, see? Sometimes you just gotta mash, right? Like, this character makes you feel dumb. But, I mean, you gotta do it, right? You have to mash a challenge in these situations. Otherwise, you just explode. Oh, this mix-up looked nasty, but it didn't end up being too much. Oh, that could have been a punish. You're dead. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Snoop. That's very nice of you. Luckily, I'm already dumb. You know, when you put it like that. That was a cool confirm. The fact that you get jump H on the ground is... Or stand H on the ground is pretty interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. Ooh, that's a good trade for Daru. Not in terms of health, but in terms of positioning. Oh, that was a drop. This is 2H, no cancel. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be stroke slash stroke, not far slash. Doesn't hit. Oh no. Oh, that's plus. And it whiffed. I like this route. This route looks cool. Doesn't doesn't charge dust do more damage than that? Oh well, you know. Plus on whiff too, yeah. It whiffs so fast. Geo players are already doing a button there, right? Because they're like, well, it's gonna miss anyway. Oh, that hit stroke. No wonder. 
Damn, that seems so useful in this matchup. The fact that GeoDP hits Stroke and anti airs God damn, that seems so good, actually. That seems so useful in this matchup. Nice 6P, that was a great challenge. Because uh, if she's staggering, like the thing about Geo is when she staggers, she staggers with moves that are, you know, pretty easy to hit with 6P. Mm, yeah, Dara tried to empty low after the jump K. Out of meter too, which is pretty scary here. Yeah. Oh. Chance. Yup. Love it. If you want to go low with Eno on the ground, walk forward into 2K is so good. The reason is like reacting to her hover dash is really hard, right? So what Eno does is they crouch and they stand up and walk towards you. And when you see Eno go from crouching to standing, you're like, oh, that's that's the air dash, right? So you like stand up because you're like, OK, I need to stand block. She's like air dashing at me and it's not. It's just her walking forward to go low. This is a really, you know, important thing the delayed low to catch you. It's one of those things that like is really, uh, really useful to do with this character. Yeah, that was a good escape option. Locked. Locks the jump out into the air dash here. Yeah, smart. When you make it out of stroke like that, I don't think you should fall and try to challenge because Eno's 6P is so good, right? I think air dashing out is good. Yeah, the scary thing about uh, Geo is not just that she has plus moves, it's that she has such strong staggers into throw pressure as well. Yeah, oh, it didn't reach. That might not hit. Well, it definitely didn't hit. Oh, no. Oh, double no. That's bad. Her OTG pressure is great, too. Geo can uh, OTG situations like this into air dash H. And uh, it's a safe jump. It's a really good spot for her. Even if you FD like this, right? I mean, she's still plus and very close to you. Ooh, that's good. Um, I don't know if she had to burst there, right? Do you have to burst on the... 2D, I think maybe. I think it's probably one of the heat of the moment bursts. Oh no. Oh. That sucked. Plus, yeah. That was heavy stroke. Can you get the note here? This is a really good start. Nice. Okay, so we see the adjustment. Last time, if you recall in this neutral jump position, Dario tried a 6P on the ground, right? Or tried something on the ground. I assume 6P. This time chases, says, look, if you're going to jump out and try to air dash, I'm going to chase you down so that you don't get that. Double overhead, dive. Yeah, you're trying to twerk on him. Relax, relax. This is huge. Yep, same low setup. Dip, you know, players, I want you to apologize. This is not okay. I don't know who told you that this is okay. Bruh, I have a 0% chance to block that. Look at this. Not when he didn't throw a note. I was like, "Why no no? How in the world? You sw look at her grabbing her hat. This shit almost fell off from the whiplash of the side switch. <laughs> skirt skirt. That's what happened. Can we get that in slow mo? I, you know, that was slow mo. That was 0.5 speed. Oh no. Yeah, that was gonna be bad. Got the early burst. That was 0.25 speed. Oh, dude, the way, yeah, the way Locks gambles with DP, I think, and this is really good because it beats both stroke and, and air options, right? So because of that, the value of it is really high. Even though the move is unsafe, like, who cares? The the two things it beats are really good. And you have, to, if you're Eno, you have to sit still, still if you want to punish it. And if that's the case and Eno sitting still, then, you know, you can just run around the screen and do what you want as Geo, right? So I think gambling with it seems smart. Blocked it, but you're still stuck. Mm -hmm. Knocked down. No, no, just went for the empty low again. I like that he's going low so much against lock. It was working, right? So why not? Oh. Headshot. Oh my god, he's damn, he's good. I love this. Jump H, land, air dash S, chemical love, air dash, whiff, low. Only works if the opponent gets hit standing, right? That was clean. Dar is nasty, dude. Dar is nasty. Yeah, that beating stroke is so good. H, bam, splatted. 
Ooh, our 2D is so good. Oh, I think that was a mistake on the combo though, right? That was pretty lucky. Ooh, that's big. DP whiffed. That's big. I think he air dash. No, he's blocking. Spent all that meter. Oh no. Oh, double no. Ah, oh, he could have died to the OTG off of the the flip anyway, right? This can go downhill so fast, by the way. For either player, I think. Oh, that's huge. Look at the Discord call. They're all hype. They're like, yes. That is huge. Losing the burst early against Eno here. This is a big air exchange because when you pilot the note down like this, you need to win the air interaction, right? So he tried with jump H, but her jump H is, this is a big ass boot. This is hard to fuck with sometimes. This is this jump H. Ooh, missed the combo. That's huge that he got out of the corner. That 6P does not matter. Yeah, of course. Oh, that was super for sure. That was not dive. Right? Right? Oh, okay. This is big. No, yeah, that is... So one thing that's important about this game, I talked about this a lot, but getting wire seed out of the air is actually really fine, I think, for the attacker. Because you land, and then you have an action very quickly. You see this? You reset to a position that's not nearly as bad. If you wire see and you get hit on the ground, you're point blank and your opponent is plus 10. If you wire see and it's in the air, like this position is very different. Yeah, close slash jump H or jump D. Ooh, if that clean hit, it was just going to be super. Oh, nice. Oh, no. That could have been super. It's fine. It's fine. He has positive bonus. <gasps> the drill went over. Oh, no. He's about to have meter. Nice. That is a huge win. This is a huge win on the note. Tried to hit her with it last time. This time pilots it up. He jumps into it. Look at how quickly Dara covers the screen. Covers the screen and then chemical loves immediately into PRC. To cut off the screen vertically like this, right? It hits this big spot. And then with the PRC, now you can land and then air dash over and get whatever you want out of the blocks then. Or in this case, I guess dive in. Oh. That's pretty good. That was really good. Like, you take advantage of one neutral interaction, right? Just one note. That's all you need. You know, there's all these people that are like, ugh, you know, you know, you can just mash and beat this. You can mash and beat that. And you can do this. But, like, in the aid of the moment, you just die, dude. I mean, that's what happens against this character. All right. Last set here. I don't know about the May matchup as Eno, to be honest with you. I Don't people not like this? Too far, unfortunately. First to keep the corner. I like the idea. That is scary. <laughs> Gold burst is such a huge swing and momentum in this game. Like, I don't know, man. That shit's so immediate. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a BRC mix up that I saw this May player do a lot. For Scrub Wars, what up? Kazuki, I see him. Uh, uh, what's it called? Do this into 6K, and the slowdown allows May to combo off this. I think she can do like close slash 2H. And then tries it again here. The jump out. Great defense. That's all the meter gone, by the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is when I noticed it was the Korean dub. Is this, is this match because May sounds different? Oh, that's nasty. Smoked. He's beaten five people before this set. This is the sixth set. How does gold burst trigger? Exclamation point glossary burst, and you'll see it in there. Nice. That was a good... That was a... Good on both ends here. Good on my end. Shoots the node down, air dashes forward, lands and try to 6P in the air. Kozuki does not hit a button. Just lands, lets the 6P whiff, and then challenges with far slash. Yeah, that was good. You have to challenge in that position. You can't let Eno get away with uh, just doing the dive into hop. She's pretty negative after. Ooh, save? This is huge. What's the plan here? Oh, word. That's the plan? Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Drift up into air dash forward. Ooh. Close slash jump dust. I like that. I like that. That was cool. Note again. Force the neutral interaction. Look at that. Oh, oh no. I forgot about this. Maji, 
is pretty funny. The no interaction is a win here, right? You get a big win. Air dashes forward, tries to air super to catch her, put her in blocks then. Air super's the air super. Damn. Spawning a whale from midair, yeah. Dara really lost every first game. Yeah, for real. Well, you gotta remember the message though. You gotta remember Dara's message and it all makes sense. Don't give up with her. That's what he says to Eno players. Don't give up. And he loses every first game. Don't give up. That's what he said. Don't give up. That was the important message. He said, Eno players, don't give up on her. Oh. Ooh, that sucks. Was it a backdash that made the jump Kawa? Ah, it was. Damn. That shit hurts. And you get the meter boost, and she gets the knockdown. Like, Daru already has meter, right? Yeah. That trade is fine. Ooh, stroke the big tree. Look at this. Wake up 6P just destroys the far slash. Double stroke. Yeah. God, that does so m Fuck Vertical Dolphin in this game, by the way. All my homies hate Vertical Dolphin. Heavy stroke plus. That, that was a good interrupt. That shit is good. I like that Dar's using that. Oh, that mix up was nasty too. This right here, just air dash, delay jump eight or jump to us for the overhead. Heavy dive, jump slash, dive again. Fake overhead low. Super. Yeah. Not dead, but this round is nasty. This is one of those rounds where you just get fucking destroy oh. No kill. Pilot the note up. That was almost perfect. This is almost a perfect round right here, right? Like, as in de decision making. Pilots the note up to cut off the escape option here. And then when she tries to double jump over it, try to intercept and meet with the jump H. This is like really, this is like a great choice. I jump P maybe would have been better. But yeah, I mean, Daru's decision making there was really good. Yeah, there's a lot of positions where Eno doesn't wall, like break the wall, but then she gets knocked down 50 50 lower overhead into the super. Yeah, that's immediate. Heavy heavy strokes immediate after the dive if she doesn't hop. I don't think it's immediate. Yeah, exactly. I don't think it's immediate if she hops, but it's still pretty good if they're in the way. Nice. That's a big. Nice. Dude, look at this confirm. Dude. Look at this jump H. Into air dash H. H dive. Air dash H off the hop. Close slash. Two H. Chemical love. Super. Dude. Air dash S. Yeah, that was nasty, right? That was a nasty little confirm. Oh, and that's all that meter gone. Yeah. That was, uh... That was clean. Dead, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, Dar is... Dar is so good. These confirms are so juicy. 2H heavy stroke. That's plus, right? So, positions like this, you know, if your opponent's not mashing to beat stroke, you go for heavy stroke. And the thing is, you can hit a button to beat this or throw it, but if you try to do that, then slash stroke hits you. So, it's like a mix-up every time. And slash stroke is negative, right? It's unsafe, but uh, what's it called? It will catch you trying to hit a button. 2H slash stroke that time. Uh-oh. Nice jump back. That's a great confirm. Yeah, I think the burst was a little bit of a, like a just do it kind of burst because you were going to get knocked down into a mix-up. You could have waited. Oh, punish. <gasps> it's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Cool. Everybody be cool. Yeah, that doesn't matter without meter, by the way. When you get hit by May and it's just this, this does not matter. Like, look at the damage on this, right? This does not matter that much. With no meter or with no corner, it's not that big of a deal. So it just sends it with the stroke and it trades with 5k. Yeah, he has not been... Oh, nice. Jump dust. Wall splat. It didn't kill. Oh, that confirm was so good. Heavy stroke. This is 2s out of the air. RC. 2s stroke too. 5d would have killed? Yeah. Yeah, the, the 2S hitting the backdash instead of, is really smart, as you mentioned, because of the 2K last time not hitting. You just need a tap. You just hit, need to hit 2K or note. 
Nice. You know what's funny is Chemical Love is one of those moves where, like, in the clutch, it's always got your back. You know May is in the air already, right? And so you just Chemical Love to catch whatever beats the Dolphin there. Damn, Daru is a real gamer. Yeah, Chemical Love is one of those moves where, like, on paper, you're just like, oh, like, you can run under it, and, like, you can get around it, and, like, what am I going to do with Chemical Love? You know, like, I don't know, you could duck it. There's all these things you can do. But uh, it has a it has a really unique purpose, right? It's really good at catching people who are, like, trying to approach on the ground. It's really useful at catching people who are coming down from the air. It gives you far confirms off of low hits, right? Because you're standing up, and you're like, yep. You can hit other characters out of their projectiles. It's really useful. Is Daru's YouTube channel and Daru's YouTube video. Daru Ino, if you look it up, you'll find him. Uh, he speaks English, Japanese, and Korean. He streams all the time. Look at this. 10 hours ago, yesterday, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, six days ago. Yeah, he's great. I, I wanted to play Ino for a bit, right? I was like trying her in plus R and I was like, takes too much effort in this version in a game since Strive is going to come out in five minutes. So then I started playing her in Strive in the beta. I think she's a really cool character. Listen. Y'all are bigots, you know that? I was playing Guilty Gear Strive and I was using the Korean version. People were coming in and saying, God, of course, you're playing on the English dub. Why are you playing on the English dub? This version is so bad. I hate the English dub. It's so bad. Listen to how bad it sounds. Where's the Japanese version? I'm like, dude, I'm playing the Korean version. What are you even talking about? And they're like, oh. And they just disappear. They like Homer into the shrubs, you know?